What's going on, everybody? DJ GoHab here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Sub Dose, baby. It's Tech Farm Sub Dose. Today, there was no update to the testing list yet again. Oxygen David has sent off Sandy Bay 1.1 for PC testing. Mapper's Paradise shows some love. 40 Mining are bringing new brands to the game. Vertex Design of a new animal trailer. Plus, Farming Agency is at it again. Let's check it out. Oxygen David has sent off the PC version of Sandy Bay Update 1.1 to Giants for testing, as well as his McConnell Reach mower used for hedge trimming. The update includes five new crops, onions, carrots, clover, field grass, and cuttable hedges. The update will also include animated waves at the beach. This update will also support the Maze Plus mods and the manure system. The console version is still being worked on by Oxy and will be sent off for testing once he's finished. For those of you curious about Oakfield Farm for consoles, that has been sent off to Giants and has been with them for about a week now. And with the lack of the testing list updates the past few days, it's hard to keep track of whether this is currently being tested or not. The best way is to stay up to date and keep an eye on the channel for updated mods and testing lists Monday through Friday. And speaking of Oxygen David, he's still working on Comstan Farms and released some IRL picks with comparisons on the work that he has done. And I think they speak for themselves. These shots are truly stunning and I don't know how you do it. But you're the man, Oxy. Mapper's Paradise shows some big time love and gave a massive shout out on their social medias to the guy who created their custom textures for Welker Farms map from 17 and here on 19 and the custom crops that they're going to be using on the Millennial Farmer map. Shout out to Brad. 4D Mining announced that their cane trailer is about 75% textured and their Keenan feeder and 16T trailers are both in testing right now for consoles. The cool thing about the Keenan feeder is the brand is given 4D Mining and Farming Simulator permission to use their name in association with the mod on consoles, which is truly a cool thing. Always great to see new brands coming to Farming Simulator on console. Vertex Design announced that they are working on the Nies VA8 cattle trailer, which is a bit larger than their VA6, and will hold more animals as well. They've gone on to say they do not plan on releasing this on console because they don't own the rights to the Nies brand, and they don't want to upload it as a lizard brand just to avoid issues and problems later on down the road. And lastly today, let's talk about the Maze Plus mods from the Alien Paul and Model Liker. There are tons of questions on how this mod works and how it can be implemented into your game on PC. Well, YouTuber Nico87 has done an absolute amazing job describing the mod in detail and how to use it with other mods. The video is in Italian, so do keep that in mind before checking it out. And speaking of Maze Plus, you may know that Farming Agency is working on a horse extension to work alongside the Maze Plus. Well, they've linked an article from Horse Journals talking about hay, haylage, and silage and say, might be an interesting read, just saying. Just from that, it seems like PC players will be getting the ability to change up the feed and diet of our horses, which I think is pretty cool. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, I will be leaving links to everything that we talked about today in the description below, including links to the Maze Plus video by Nico87 and the Horse Journal. You can also find links to today's other videos in the first pinned comment, including new mods when we get them and today's live stream. Keep in mind, there are no release dates for any mods, only official DLCs from Giants, which funny enough, we're exactly four weeks away from the next DLC today, the Vernland Bicon Equipment Pack DLC. If there's something I didn't talk about that you're interested in, that just means that there's no new information at this time. So stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the Gohan fam, make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so you never miss Farm Sim News or daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With all that being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! Diet day two. I had a green smoothie and it tastes about as bad as you think it would.